if you aren't writing your story, your story is always being written for you by others. And if you aren't telling your story, your story will always be told to you by others. And I appreciate the two that we had speak right now. We're gonna get more people to speak up. But the power of just being one individual who is woke and decides to stand up and speak. I'll give you one quick example, because Neil was here, he just rem reminded me of this. Muslim ban dropped January, right? And if you guys remember, there was a resistance and a reaction where multicultural communities, a coalition of the willing, spontaneously got up and did what? Went to airports and welcomed people to, their, to the shore. You guys remember that? I had a friend, Jay Pasari, who uh, knew me when I was healthy, husky, you know, lentil shirts, lentil on my shirt. Uh, he Facebook messages me and says the following. I haven't talked to him in years. He says, Waj, I've been following you from afar and following what you've been doing, speaking mm -hmm. about the American Muslim experience. I didn't take seriously what you were saying then, but now I take it seriously. I've been following you for a while. You've been my Muslim friend, and guess what? I'm gonna stand up for you. Me and my girlfriend are gonna go to the airport, tell me what else I can do, yeah. all right? <laughs> Don't underestimate your power, because for many people, you might be the only five foot one person, the only Nigerian immigrant, the only LGBTQ person. And the way you deal with people, it sucks to be the ambassador of an entire people. Right. But the way you present yourself to many people, when something like this drops, a Muslim ban, cake bans, racism, right. uh, anti-Semitism, they're gonna be like, you know what? I actually know a Jewish guy. He's right. not cheap. Right. That dude gave the dopest tip of all time. Uh, and so give me an example here. You know, Jonathan made a great point. America is about carrying each other's waters. So right. that means a Muslim man has to stand up for Black Lives Matter. That means uh, an African-American has to stand for a Jewish-American brother.